You were quoted in a newspaper criticizing a 17-year sentence given to an editor who was charged for undermining state authority. Uh, we read that three journalists were arrested in Kigali the past week, including Joseph Bideri uh, of New Times, who, after a story came out alleging fraud in a dam project. And this week, the Media High Council issued a statement on media reform at the National Dialogue on Media. Uh, explicitly saying that the laws around defamation, genocide, ideology, divisionism impair the media's ability. Uh, Rwanda has been ranked very poorly in terms of press freedom, media independence. Um, I'm wondering why do you think this is and what do you think needs to change? Rwanda has been ranked poorly not because it should be ranked poorly. I think it has also been unfair and, and it is an injustice made in, in certain cases. I was trying to tell even the journalists that had I be the one, if I were the one to decide entirely on these issues, first of all, nobody would be punished for criticizing the president or even abusing the press. I have had many people abuse me directly as, as we sit here and I have no issue with it. I wouldn't even have issue with anybody writing things about me at all. I have had nothing to do with writing the law about the media or I, I, I don't prosecute, I'm not a prosecutor, I'm not a judge of the court of law, I'm not any of this. I have less let these things run their course. I have had very little, and in fact, deliberately, with, with deciding what happens in the media or the laws about the media. But I keep seeing things coming back to me, including that the fact that I'm happy that people are talking about looking at the whole thing and how it has been working, and wanting to carry out reforms that will make us better in this field. I'm happy about that, I'm supportive of that. But I, ha I will even keep holding back my own advice to them because I don't want any advice to be misunderstood, to be misconstrued, or, or to be taken and beyond what it is and something else is done and then it comes back and says, oh, it is the president who advised us to do this. I have our people, here know very well, I have refused to, I have distanced myself from this. I don't want to be, even if I know it comes back to me always. But I have said, discuss with those people, take it to parliament, even with the cabinet, people come here and talk about it, the media will talk about it, arrive at something that you think will work for us or for everybody in this country and fits within the international norms as expected. This is what has been happening. But these are things we keep addressing as we develop, as we move forward. Maybe we have more people being responsible for what they need to be doing in their places of work, whether it is the police or even the media become more sensible. Maybe there will be a way to handle and manage better media issues when these reforms are carried out that those are the, that are underway or when you have you know people who better practitioners in, in the media it keeps improving this is my my hope this is but there is no other impediment to media development in this country it's not that the president doesn't want this. It's not that this, no. It's <laughs> where we are coming from or nev in every sector, including the media, which uh, was said that I hadn't mentioned, is like that. It's all work in progress. People getting better. It, there are many messes going on in different sectors other than the media. So it's something that people possibly have to be patient about, and, and we keep trying to see how best we can move forward. A follow-up on that. Um, as I understand it, in the Rwandan penal code, defamation is a criminal offense. And uh, given your desire to see the 
Are you willing to support making defamation a civil offense rather than a criminal offense and modifying the penal code? Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. President. I used to be the minister in charge of media um, until three years ago, and um, um, I've been part of the large discussion taking place in this country on what to do to improve this uh, particular sector. And I think uh, opinions are very divided amongst ourselves, the Minister of Justice, uh, the people in charge of media. Um, and as the President said, there is a sort of a soul searching going on in how to uh, improve both professionalism, respect our law, and push our media to go uh, a bit higher th than where it is today. So in terms of uh, defamation, uh, being a, a criminal or, or civil offense. Um, our view, uh, largely with uh, the, the people in charge of, of justice, is that we, we should allow time going with the maturing of our media and then decide whether it should be uh, now a civil offense or, or, or remain a criminal offense. But this is an area that is evolving. And the issues of, the, the more the issues of defamation uh, disappear in our media, the more people will be inclined to make it uh, a civil offense.